Our lead tonight, precaution in the North Sound. Bothell High School is closed tomorrow. That is because of a new coronavirus threat. The Snohomish Health District confirms they are looking at yet another individual for possible coronavirus, but gave no other details. However, tonight, Cairo 7 received a letter from the North Shore School District, and it says both a staff member from Bothell High and one of their family members are being quarantined. That staff member was at school Monday following a trip abroad, and the next day, their family member got sick. Again, that family member now being treated and monitored for the virus. But health officials say it is only out of an abundance of caution. The risk to students and staff, they say, is minimal. But the district is closing Bothell High tomorrow so crews can disinfect the entire campus. Now, meanwhile, Gonzaga's students studying abroad are among thousands being told to leave northern Italy immediately and come back home. That's an effort to keep students safe from the massive coronavirus outbreak. And Cairo 7's Gary Horker talked to one of many Gonzaga students ordered home. But Gary, he is not going back to campus. No, he is not. He and the other students, Monique, are being told to go back home to wherever they're from out of an abundance of caution. In fact, the student you're about to meet here talked to me tonight from Ireland where he's visiting for spring break. And students like him are being discouraged from even returning to Florence to pack up their gear. Needless to say, I was very disappointed. You know, we we're only halfway through the program. Gonzaga sophomore Grant Oldfield and 160 of his fellow classmates studying in Florence, Italy, got the email from the university today. The coronavirus outbreak in northern Italy makes it just too risky to stay there. We got an email from Gonzaga saying that uh, unfortunately the program is canceled and it suggested that all students return back to their homes in the United States immediately. I talked to Grant while the president addressed the nation about coronavirus. Italy is, uh, you know, a deeper problem, and we're checking people coming in very, very strongly from those. And at some point, we may cut that off. Until today, Grant says Florence had been the experience of a lifetime. But there are 374 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Italy, and 12 people have died. There's about 50,000 people in northern Italy currently qu quarantined. University leaders released this statement. We're concerned that if they remained in Florence, Gonzaga students are at risk for in-country quarantines, limitations on travel, and limited access to basic services. Grant says a big concern is exposure to groups traveling by train. We're uh, surrounded by a lot of people, and there's definitely concern among me and my friends of potentially catching this deadly disease. Considering that, he'll leave respecting the university's decision. You know, God forbid, if a student did catch corona at Gonzaga and Florence, it would obviously look very bad on the school for not having made the decision to send kids back in the first place. So we keep checking the numbers, Monique, yeah. and this keeps breaking. At last check, Johns Hopkins University says that 453 people in northern Italy now have contracted wow. coronavirus. By the way, Grant will return to Florence, pack up four months' worth of his gear, and return to Seattle as soon as he gets a flight. He lives in Richland. Okay. He's going to finish all of his coursework from home. Oh, gosh, from home, that seems right. so extreme. But then you looked into it, and there have been cases of people going to northern Italy and bringing the illness back. Right. There was a man apparently visited northern Italy, the Tuscany region, right there where we're talking about, went back to Brazil, had coronavirus, became South America's first ever case. That's what they're trying to avoid in Spokane. And we're seeing how quickly the numbers are adding up. Okay, no thanks question. so much, Gary. Sure.